Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go over this CD shader that uh, layers three different standard surface shaders together with RGB ramps connected to the specular anisotropy rotation. Okay, do bear in mind this is, this is a fake shading effect, so it's not going to be physically accurate. There is also this anisotropic brushed metal tutorial, which also covers a similar shading technique. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, let's start from scratch. Let's create a standard surface shader. Put that red. Give it a red base color and increase the metalness to one. And the anisotropy, the specular anisotropy to 0.7. So we want to connect a ramp RGB to the rotation to control the effect. We'll use a UV transform first to give some more control over how that's how that works. So Connect the out color R to the specular rotation. Like so, and then in the input of the UV, UV transform, let's create a ramp RGB. So something like that. And then just assign the shader. And then for the ramp, we want to make sure that's set to radial. And I'm going to put the white to 0.5 and just add another black here so now you can start to see how the the ramps affecting the specular anisotropic rotation okay so that's the red shader now we want to duplicate it twice green and blue as well so uh, i'll we'll select the red shader and go to edit duplicate special just make sure the duplicate input graph is enabled so when we apply it, it keeps the same graph. Let's rename this to green. Give it a green color. And do the same again. Edit duplicate special. Apply. And color blue. And give that blue color. So now we need to layer the shaders together using a, a layer shader. It's an AI layer shader. So I'm going to assign the layer shader to the CD. And then we've got three layers here. So I'm going to enable layer two and three. I'm going to drag the red shade onto the input of layer three, the green to layer two, and the blue to layer one. Okay, so we won't see anything at the moment because they're all using the same UV transform settings. So just need to offset the rotation for the green and the blue now. So something like five for the green and maybe minus five for the blue. Then they just reduce the mix to something like 0.5. And now we can start to see the, the ramps blending into each other like so. Of course, you can always tweak the shaders. These values aren't set in stone, so if you wanted to maybe reduce the red, have more blue and green, quite easily do that using the, the layer shader. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.